Good evening. Hello, Miguel. Hello, Francisco. Jennifer, good evening. Good evening. Good to see you, Adriana. Great to see you. Hey, Francisco, how's it going? Hey, good evening. I hope I'm fine. Are you? Just fine. Are you sleepy? Uh, no, I watch TV. Watch TV. <laughs> You're watching TV. Yeah. Okay. Jennifer, hello. Good to see you here. Miguel, good to see you. I only have uh, four people in the class. Well, I, I will wait for the rest. That is weird, right? That is weird. Jonathan got into the class. Adriana is there, Gretel. Okay, Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan. How are you doing? Hello, I'm fine. Just fine. Okay. And willing to, willing to learn something new tonight. Yes. Okay, that's what's really matters over here. Well, I, I think you had a you have an activity right about a tongue twister. <laughs> Did Yo you... teacher con la actividad <laughs> tengo un problema que hasta en español me cuesta <laughs> decirlo, <laughs> pero. Eh, Pablito clavó un clavito. Intentarlo. Sí, a mí eso me, me mata. <laughs> ok. Ok, so meanwhile, the rest of the people gather, we're gonna check that, the activity, right? You had a like, Friday, no, Saturday, Sunday, and you have the whole day for, I mean, today to, to learn the, the tongue twister, right? Francisco, did you learn your tongue twister? Uh, I learned only one. Okay. Go ahead with your tongue twister. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, um, you say... Uh, you, you know, I'm sorry to interrupt, uh, Francis. You know about Flash, right? You know who Flash is. He's a superhero. Uh, I, I don't understand what... Uh, you don't know who flies flash is is a superhero in the movies oh uh, yeah flash yeah. Okay, okay so you 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 have to do something like that but but not by using your legs but by using your tongue uh okay si saben quien es flash verdad si rápido va rápido y furioso algo así <laughs> algo así le van a hacer ahora a ustedes solo que flash utiliza sus piernas y ustedes van a utilizar su lengua okay Okay, Francisco. Okay, start. Uh, is Posse Wasi. Posse Wasi was a beard. Posse Wasi had no hair. Posse Wasi was no very Posse was he. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Was it difficult for you to learn it? Um, no, really, no, no, no much, but not that uh, much. No, not much. Okay. Okay, Adriana, go ahead with yours. Okay, um, one one was a one horse, two two was one two, uh, one one won a race, two two was one, one two. Uh, to learn it? Not really? Yes, the word race horse. Race horse. The, the pronunciation. Okay, but you, now you know vocabulary, new vocabulary, right? Yes. You learn vocabulary, I mean, the new words and also new pronunciation of words. That's what I was looking for. Luisa, go ahead with yours. The big black box with the big black bear, but the big Activated your, your microphone. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. The, the big black bug beat the big black bear, but the big black bear beat the big black bug, but best. Okay. <laughs> Were you practicing a lot yes. during the weekend? Practice. What did what, what did your family uh, say about it? <laughs> 
<laughs> smiling. <laughs> they were laughing, right? Like, so crazy. they said, wow, <laughs> Paco became mad. Eh, Luisa became mad. Or Jonathan <laughs> is like, like, well, I don't know what's happening to these people. They are, they are <laughs> like repeating a lot of times during the week. <laughs> Jonathan, go ahead. Okay. Um, one one was a race horse. Two two was one two. One 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 race. Two two one one two. Okay, racing horses is nice in fashion now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you, Jonathan. <laughs> Claudia, what about yours? Good evening. Good um, evening. Ken y yo Ken as a Kainer Ken Ken a Ken. It's about a Ken, right? That's what I got. <laughs> hey, but that's sure, right? That's the only one you, you learned, Claudia? No more? Only one? Mm -hmm. No entiendo mucho lo que <laughs> No, no, you learn only one. Only only one tongue twister. Yes. Okay. Good. <laughs> Let me see. Gretel, did you say yours? Yes. Okay. Miguel Portillo, go ahead with yours. Hey. Uh wait. Um, look, look, like, look, look, like lakes, looks, duck, likes lakes, look, 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 lakes, lakes, looks, duck, licks, lakes, the duck takes leaks in lakes, look, 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 like lakes, look, look, takes leaks in lakes, duck, lights. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, were you practicing a lot? No, a little bit. I I was busy. You were in, busy in the weekend. In the yeah weekend. The but the week. I practice a little bit. Okay. Thank you very much, Miguel. David Alonso, what about you? Okay, teacher. <laughs> I didn't learn it by heart. But I was practicing. Okay. It says very about butter, but the butter was better, bitter. <laughs> oh, again, very bit about butter, but the butter was bitter. So very about better butter to make the bitter butter better. Wow, <laughs> fantastic, David. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Now, as you can see, the more you practice, then you, the more you learn, right? Si ustedes se fijan, si cuando más lo practican, más rápido este, pronuncian las palabras y se les oye más bonito el tono. Twister. Ok. That was quite good. Jancy, Jans, what about you? Can you please share your tongue twister, Jancy? Hello, teacher. I don't practice the tongues. Uh, you, you didn't practice a tongue twister. Okay. I, did, I didn't practice. Okay, Jennifer Raquel. Yes, okay. Um, when a doctor doctors a doctor, does, does the doctor doing the doctoring doctor as the doctor being a doctor want to be doctor or, or does the doctor doing the doctoring doctor as he want to doctor? <laughs> well, that's, that's quite long and very difficult. When a doctor doctors a doctor, it starts like that, right? <laughs> okay. Andrea Esmeralda. I didn't. But you didn't? You didn't practice? Uh, Catherine has me. And uh, David. Okay. Okay. It, it's very butter. Had some butter, but she said this butter bitter. If I bake this bitter butter, it will make my butter bitter. But a bit of better butter that will 
make my butter better. So she bought a bit of butter, better that here bitter butter, and she and she baked it in her but, uh, butter and the butter was not bitter. So what's better bitter butter? Bought a bit of better butter. Wow, I think it was longer than the Jonathan mentioned, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and it is, good. it is, a, I think it, that, that is one of the dif, the most difficult ones <laughs> people have presented tonight. Congrats, Catherine. Uh, Hiroki, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, Hiroki, go ahead with your tongue twister. Sorry, uh, I don't know um, my homework you because uh, universal is uh it's very difficult for me and um yeah um i can also leave the classes <laughs> oh. okay 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 Hiroki, try to get one uh, during the class okay because at the end i will ask you and i don't know andres meralda i think it's missing right okay good evening good evening Mayra. Well, if, if we're gonna continue. Uh, I don't know if there is anybody else. Otherwise, we're going to go over the activities because we have a lot of activities in the platform, okay? Uh, remember that this week is for you to finish all the activities in the platform, um, including the final test, okay? It is for this week, okay? This is the last week. We're gonna be like sharing information in the group and trying to learn, okay? Later, you're gonna move on to another level of English, okay? But try to do your best and try to complete everything. Can we share the information? Okay, I have this. Um, well, we finally got into the last into the last section, right? So we have some um, topics in the in the section number one, section number two, section number three, section number four, and you know we finally got at the end of the of this level of English, right? But over here, as you can see, there, there's a, a lot of information to, to work on during the, during the week. And besides this info, you have the final test. So that means that we still have a lot of activities to, um, to work on. Uh, I, I don't know. Can somebody help me with the, to read the objective for tonight? Lesson objective. In this lesson, we will learn about present perfect. Present perfect is put in practice during the conversation. All right. That was it, right? We will continue talking about present perfect. Okay. We are going, I will introduce the topic by having this conversation, a visit to New Orleans. And then you will see uh, where the, um, the present perfect structure is implied in the conversation. Okay. Then we're gonna move on automatically. Well, you are gonna you're gonna pay special attention to the expression with, uh, I mean, present perfect tense um, in the conversation. Here we go. Welcome to section ten. Can you listen to it? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. So here we go. In this lesson, we will listen and practice a conversation between two people in New Orleans. See present perfect in context. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I need to see if you uh, if you have been uh, studying verbs in the past participle form. What is this verb, people, in the in base form? 
In the base form, yeah. what is the verb? Uh, I'm going to right. write. Okay, now the verb is? Right. 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 What is the past form? Right then. Past, simple past form. Road. Road. Okay, what is the past participle? Written. Written. Right. Okay. Written. Right, road, reading. Okay, so, well, keep studying the verse because I will continue asking about verse in simple past form, I mean, in present form or base form, past form and past participle, okay? Right now, remember that we, we are focusing our mind into the past participle form of verbs, as many verbs as possible. In two people in New Orleans, see present perfect in context. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, now tell me the verbs that you see in the conversation, people. All the verbs. Be. Been. See you. See. Okay. Give me one second because you're gonna tell me. Hey, present form of the verb be. Been. Be. Be. Past form. Was, were. Was, was and were. Past participle. Been. 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 All right. So whenever you are asked about the verb be in the past and the past participle, you say be, was, were, been. That's it. Okay. Now, tell me the base. the base form of this uh, over here is an adjective okay i want to be clear about it over here it's a it's a it's an adjective aquí funciona como adjetivo okay aquí no es no es verbo okay pero igual excite es un verbo okay what is the past of this verb excited past participle exciting is the same right excited excited uh, is, this a, is this a verb? It's a modal verb. It's a modal. Can we have past form for that modal? Could. Cool. Cool. Okay. What about this verb? Wait. Wait. What Wait. is the past form? Wait. The same. Ah? Uh? Wait it. Wait it. Past participle? Wait it. Wait it. It's the same, right? So it's it's regular. What about this one? Show. 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 I don't know if this is regular, right? The same. Yeah, it's the same. It's regular. Have you been to a jazz no. club yet? Do hey, you know the meaning of this word, people? Yes, yeah. because basically sooner or later we're gonna see it. I think it's in the next in the next next section. I've already been to one. Oh well, how about the riverboat tour? Oh, I'd already done eh, okay. Tell me what is the base form for this verb? Do do simple past. Did past participle. Done. Do did done. Okay, now and the one that appeared at the beginning. Base form. Right. Past form. Road. Road. Past participle. Reading. Reading. Okay. Base form. Get. Get. Past form. Got. Got. Gotten. Past gotten. participle. Gotten. All right. Base form. Want. Want. 
Past form. Wanted. Wanted. Past participle form. Wanted. Wanted. Same on here. Want, want. Okay. Uh, base form. No. Take. Take. Past form. Took. Past participle form. Taken. 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 All right. Base form. Kill. Kill. Past form. Killed. Killed. Past participle form. Killed. Killed. Fantastic. You, I think that you you don't have uh, that. I mean, problems with regular and irregular verbs in the in the past and past participle form. Just continue. Just continue studying because you know we have a lot of verbs in English. Okay, I think I won't stop uh, that much in this conversation. Okay, because I just wanted to to notice if you. I've been studying about, about the verbs. And we're gonna go directly to the grammar. And in the lesson objective of this part of the curse, says that in this session, the Jew will study the present perfect, but not only the present perfect, but by using? Already. Already? And yet. And yet. yet. Okay, so. Keep in, keep in mind that. And ask and answer questions using the present perfect with regular and irregular past participles. Okay. And we're going to go over to this video. Now over here, this is pure grammar, people. And uh, I don't think that's difficult, but we need to learn how to identify the structure and put it into practice. Hi, in this lesson, we will study present perfect with already and yet. Ask and answer questions in present perfect with irregular and regular past participles. I want you to concentrate on this new tense. Notice how it is formed. Pay close attention to the words already and yet. Present perfect. Already, yet. The present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Yes, she's ridden in one. No, she hasn't ridden in one. Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. No, he hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Contractions. I've equals I have. You've equals you have. He's equals he has. She's equals she has. It's equals it has. We've equals we have. They've equals they have. Haven't equals have not. Hasn't equals has not. For present and perfect, we will Okay. So she mentioned uh, all the information on here, right? With the present perfect is formed with the verb have. Actually, over here, this is not a verb, people. You need to be clear about it. I mean, over here, this word, this word works as an auxiliary. Okay, I want you to be clear about it. Over here is it's not a verb. Over here it says with the verb have, right? Yeah, I mean, it's a verb, but not with the present perfect tense. So in here, this is not a verb. This is a model, right? Uh, I mean, this is an auxiliary. I'm sorry, it's not a model, but an auxiliary. And you know what an auxiliary is? It's a word or a verbal form that help us to identify the things we're talking about, okay? In the past participle form of a verb. 
Okay, this is a verb and this is the auxiliary, okay? Have you been to a jazz club? That is a yes, no question. That's why you answer yes or you answer no, simple like that, right? When you start with the, with the auxiliary have, then you have only two options. You say yes or you, you say no. Yes, period. I've been to several. No, period. I haven't been to one. When, when we talk about the person singular, the verb, you know that the verb changes, right? It's not have, but has. I have, you have, he has, she has, it has, we have, you have, and they have. Okay, that's why you have the question by having the 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 um, the auxiliary in the third person singular. Has she? Has she? Has she ridden a, a, a street car? Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. And over here, as you can see, you can contract present perfect. Okay, I if I have. She is, she has. He is, he has. They've, they have. Contractive form. Okay, negative statements. No, I haven't been to one. No, she hasn't written in one. No, he hasn't called in months. No, they haven't eaten yet. Okay, and we have the contractions again. You know, it's making emphasis on the way we can contract the words because um, when we speak nature or when we try to speak naturally, we tend to say the expressions in the contractive form. That's why we say, I. Can somebody repeat? I. I. Uh, now, when you I, speak, I, when you speak I, quickly, the, the the, the the sound is there, right? But the, over here we are exaggerating because I'm teaching. I've, I've, I, I, I have, I have, you've, you, you have, he is. Now this is job, job, you have, he is. Okay, he has, he has, he is, she, she has. It's, it's it has. It has. No, but this this seems to be like the verb to be, right? Yes or no? Yes. Like, yes, yeah, seems to be like the verb to be. He is contracted for he is. Como hacen la forma contractada de eso? His. His. Is igual que está ahí abajo? Yes. Ah, okay, pero, pero el que está abajo es, es esto. ¿ve? He has. Ajá. Ok. Entonces hay que tener un cuidado. Because how are you going to know if it is the verb be or if it is the present perfect tense? ¿Cómo se van a dar cuenta? ¿Cómo se van a dar cuenta? Depende del contexto. Realmente depende del contexto. Por el verbo. Por ah, el verbo. Okay. El contexto sí, la verdad que sí, pero por ahí mencionaron algo que es como mucho más certero. Ajá. El verbo. Es el, el verbo, miren. Let me give me a second. The verb. Después de esto. I know what's my problem. Well, I'm sorry. After this, after this, you, you have at the past a uh, participle form of a verb. Meaning is it? Yes, he is called. Okay, so call this just after the expression, the contractive expression. Okay, so no doubt that we're going to use the present perfect. I mean, that we're using present perfect. Okay, so that is the difference. 
Okay, let's try to finish with the video. Have not. Hasn't equals has not. For present perfect, we will use have or has plus past participle verb plus complement. The verb have or has will depend on the person we will talk about. We use present perfect when we want to express actions which began in the past and continue in the present. Example, she has worked in the bank for five years. We have had the same car for 10 years. When we want to make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time, I have worked hard this week. It has rained a lot this year. We haven't seen her today. Repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. They have seen that film six times. We have eaten all that restaurant many times. When timing is not relevant or it is unknown, someone has eaten my soup. Now let's talk about already and yet. Already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. Examples, we have already had our breakfast. When are you going to do your homework? But I've already done it. Yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. We usually put it at the end of a sentence. Examples, has the post arrived yet? All right. So in Spanish, people, how do you, how do you interpret this tense? I mean, this sentence. Has the post arrived yet? Ya ha llegado el, el post. Llegó uh, ya el, el correo. Correo. Oh, well, kind of, but, but there is, I think there is some, there is another way. Because it says, yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. We usually put it at the end of the sentence. Has the post arrived yet? Llegó ya el correo. Teacher, eh, si no me equivoco, el yet es como una un, a un, sería como un, este, si ya llegaron a recoger el post, algo así, a un. Um, can somebody inter okay okay i mean you have the idea but why why don't you go and, and soften the net now and maybe you go to google translator and see the way google translator interprets this expression and then tell me because you need to be clear i mean this is very important because you say has the post arrived yet yes but i mean it is todavía okay but uh, can you read this but in spanish people has the post arrived yet eh, ya ha llegado el correo but i think it's the opposite uh, francisco because already is the one that you are seeing right already but yet is the opposite maybe no ha llegado el correo aún Okay, pretty good. Who's talking now? Hi, Miguel. Okay, Miguel. Miguel Gary. Okay, ¿cómo es que nosotros decimos este, esta, esta oración? ¿Todavía no ha llegado el correo? Ah, miren. It means that something that, that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. Entonces, cuando nosotros decimos, todavía no ha llegado el correo, así lo decimos en buen salvadoreño, ¿verdad? Cuando se supone que ya debió haber llegado y no ha llegado. Entonces, ahí ocupamos esto. Has the post right yet? Have you done your homework? Not yet. Have you got ready yet? Todavía no estás listo. Look at the time. Mira la hora. Okay, and that's it. This is the expression, people. I'm telling you in Spanish because it, it, I mean, for me, it was really useful to understand the meaning of it when I was student. Okay, and I think it may be very useful with you as well. Now, there is a, there is like, there are two 
Well, actually the person presented a lot of information, right? And the info that's so in here, just after seeing the chart, is the following. Over here. Yeah, over here. Look, for present perfect, we will use have or has, depending on the person, right? If I say Francisco, have or has? Has. Oh, Francisco has. has. Hiroki and Francisco? Have. Have. No. Okay, Jonathan and, let's see, and Catherine? Have. Have. Catherine? Has. 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 Claudia? Has. has. Okay, simple like that, right? So it all depends on the on the subject. Have or has plus past participle of a verb plus a complement. The verb have or has will depend on the person. Okay, we already said that. We'll talk about we use present perfect. We, we want to express actions with be, which began in the past and continue in the present. Okay, and over here. Uh, well, we have, she has worked in the bank for five years. She has worked in the bank for five years. How do you, how do you interpret that sentence, people? In, into uh, Spanish. She was, uh, she was work, uh, right now to working. How do you say this sentence in Spanish, people? Thank Ella you. Trabajado. Ella estuvo trabajando por cinco años. Ella estuvo trabajando. Ella ha trabajado en el banco por cinco años en el Ha trabajado en el barco por cinco años. Okay, perfect. She has sí, worked trabajando. in the bank for five years, but that doesn't mean that this, the, 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 the action is over, right? So she's still in the bank. That's why we say we use present perfect when we want to express actions which began in the past and continue in the present. Okay, you have, you have studied English for three months or five months, for example. That doesn't mean that you are not, that you didn't continue studying English. You are in the, in the curse now, but you started in the past, okay? We have had the same car for 10 years. We have had the same car for 10 years. You see, you bought it in the past, but you still have, you still have the same car, okay? Let plus past see. participle verb plus complement. The verb have or has will depend on the person we will talk about. We use present perfect when we want to express actions which began in the past and continue in the present. Example, she has worked in the bank for five years. We have had the same car for 10 years. When we want to make reference to an... Okay, now we have another rule, people. When we make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time. Temporary period of time. I have worked hard this week. Actually, the person hasn't finished the activity. But so far, he has worked hard this week. It has rained a lot this year. You see? Uh, it's been raining lately, right? We haven't seen her today, but maybe later we will see her. We also have present perfect for repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. How come? They have seen that film six times. Now, what does it say? Repeated action, how many times? Six. In a specific period of time? When exactly? Six times, right? They have done it in the past. Between the present and the past. Why, why does it say the present and the past? Because the, the people or these people have seen the, the film six times, but that doesn't mean that they are not able to continue seeing the, seeing the, the film like the, uh, seven times or eight times or nine times, the, the times they wish. And the last one, we have eaten at that restaurant many times in the same story, right? They have done it, or they maybe they ate uh, at that restaurant the last week, 
they continue eating in the present and maybe they will continue in the future. Any question about this? No, teacher. No. No. Okay, so I, I hope that you got as much info as possible. We finished temporary period of six times. We have eaten all that. Okay, and just to make some review. Someone has eaten my soup. No, actually, is the, is the, is the activity finished? ¿Cómo leen esa oración? Alguien se ha comido mi sopa. No. ¿No creen que parece más, o sea, una oración en pasado? ¿Ya se terminó la acción? ¿O está unida al presente? Y tal vez al futuro. Así como los, los otros ejemplos. No, o sea, for me, for finish. Ok, no, le voy a poner para que, para que comparen. Veamos. Vamos a ver qué ejemplo me invento ahorita. Espérense. Vaya. Quiero ver. She, someone has eaten my soup. Ah, someone... Ok. ¿Cuál creen que es la diferencia entre someone has eaten my soup and someone ate my soup yesterday? We continue. It's a specific time. Ok. Acá les doy la expresión de cuándo sucedió. Pero acá, someone has eaten my soup, ¿es del pasado o, 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 o se une al presente siempre? Se une al presente. Porque está sucediendo. ¿Está sucediendo o ya se lo comieron? ¿O ya se tomaron la sopa? Se la tomaron cuando oh, han terminado. Ah, oigan, alguien se ha tomado mi sopa. ¿Ya pasó la actividad o todavía se la está tomando la persona? No, ya pasó. Ya pasó. Entonces quiere decir que esto está en el pasado. Por eso, someone ate my soup. Es como que dijéramos así, ¿ven? someone ate my soup. Alguien se tomó mi soap. ¿Ok? Ahora, ¿cuándo vamos a usar presente perfecto en, en, en este sentido? Cuando la actividad quedó en el pasado, pero no sabemos cuándo exactamente. ¿Cuándo se sucedió? Entonces, cuando usamos pasado simple, sí sabemos, ¿verdad? Someone ate my soup yesterday. Y le podemos incluir yesterday. Hoy, the, or the last week. Okay, so we can do so, so in the, so, so in the, in that tense. But when we have present perfect, uh -uh. nosotros no podemos decir someone has eaten my soup yesterday. No tiene sentido. Alguien se ha tomado mi sopa ayer. No, así no, no funciona así. Okay. Now, any question about this part? Yes, I have one question. And the the rules say when time is not relevant or it is not un, uh, unknown. Unknown. Uh, it, it, this, the, for an example, who it is the timing is not relevant or it is not unknown? Yeah, it's not unknown. Okay. Because over here we don't know when it happened, right? Or if it is not relevant, I mean, the, the, the day, I mean, if you want to make it relevant, si quiere hacerlo relevante, entonces lo pasa al pasado simple. Ayer se tomaron mi sopa. Ah, entonces, lo, ayer se, alguien se tomó mi sopa. Entonces ahí ya se vuelve relevante. ¿Por qué? Porque quieren especificar que fue el día de ayer. Entonces ahí pasamos a pasado simple, pero acá, como no queremos, no es relevante decirlo, pues que alguien, en este ejemplo, la persona no, para esta persona no es relevante decir cuándo se tomaron las sopa. 
Lo que sí es relevante es que se la tomaron. Importa el tiempo. Ajá. That's why it says when time is not relevant or it is, it is unknown. Very good, Frank. Okay. Very good, Francisco. Quite good. Now, let me see if there's something else over here to clarify. Ah, over here already. Somebody was saying that yet means toda, eh, to, um, ya, no, already means that in Spanish, right? Already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. How come? We have already after have, but I have already after have, but he has already. So already goes just after the verb or the auxiliary have or has. Then you have the past participle form and the complement. That is simple like that, right? Usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. Examples, we have already had our breakfast. When are you going to do your homework? But I've already done it. Yet means that something that we... And yet we already discussed, right? About it. What's the meaning of that word? Okay. So I won't continue with this. And I think we still have like some, some time to do the, the knowledge check. Okay, vamos a hacer algo. Mientras yo paso el listado, ustedes trabajan en, el, en la plataforma en la parte 5.4. Okay, y ya regreso para que ustedes me digan cuáles son las respuestas. Ok, para el día de mañana también quiero que investiguen si hay más uso referente al presente perfecto. Ok, porque aquí nos presentaron algunos y son muy significativos, pero creo que hay más. Okay, let me see, I will check the list of tenants, people. Todos se van al, a la parte 5.4 a resolver el ejercicio mientras yo paso lista, ok. Hello. Ok. okay. Ok, voy a dejar de compartir por el momento. 5.4. Ok, Ad Adriana Gretchen. Here. Andrea Esmeralda. Here. Claudia Jocelyn. Present. David Alonso. Present. Francisco Alexander. Present. Gabriela Guadalupe. Lindy. Present. Ileana. I'm here, teacher. Good to know. Hiroki. I'm here, teacher. Hey, Hiroki, be ready with the tongue twister, please. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, Jennifer Raquel. I'm here. Jonathan Vladimir. Present. Josue Miguel. I saw Josue Miguel over here. Was I dreaming? I have problem with my internet. About Jose is here, right? Yeah. Okay, here. thank you. Thank you, Jose. Carla Tatiana. Hello, Carla. It's not here. She's not here. Thank you. Uh, Catherine Jasmine. Present. Luisa Ariana. Present. Mayra Patricia. Present. Nerling. Present teacher. Present. Okay, Nerling. And Jansi Jamilet. Present teacher. Fantastic. So we're done with it. Now I will share again the, the information in the in the platform. And you know, there are some people who didn't say the, the tongue twister tonight. 
Maybe tomorrow we will listen to you again. We, we will continue with that. Hey, you have a homework, right? So what's that homework, people? Well, different uses, uses of the present perfect, right? Present perfect. We will continue studying about present perfect. Present perfect. Sorry for my pet. Okay, that's my pet. And also, well, I think we're going to go over it sooner or later, since and for. Present perfect with since and for. Now we talked uh, about uh, already and yet, right? So now we need to go with since and for. I think you have already studied this, right? But we're going to have some review. Why not? Look at the chat, people. The info's in the chat. Now here, the knowledge check is about completing this conversation using the present perfect and also using verse in the bra brackets, okay? Now, can somebody read the first? I know that you are very smart and you, you complete the activities very quickly. Have you done much exercise this week? Okay, have you done much exercise this week? Number two. I have already been to aerobic class for time. Yeah, I'm sorry for the spelling over here, but that's class, right? I have been, yes, I have. I have already been, right? To aerobics class for times. Number three. Have you played any sport this month? You played any sport this month? The first one. Okay. Miguel, how do you pronounce this word in the past? Played. With a T sound? D. A D, played. A D All sound. Right. All right, good. Now four. No, I haven't Having had. had. No, I haven't had. Last good. one. Number five. How many movies have you seen? Have you the second seen? one? How many this movies month. have you seen this month? Yeah. Okay, number six. Actually, I haven't seen any the first yet. one. The first one? Actually, first I one. haven't seen any yet. Number seven. Have the you been? One. Is the second one? Yeah. Have yeah. you been to any interesting parties recently? Yes. Number eight. No, I have gone. No, I, I haven't have gone. Go. The third one. I haven't got the, the second one or the third one? Third, third one. Third one. The last one. Ah, the last one, All right. Number nine. The first one. First one. Have you called the difference today? Yes. Yes. Number 10. The first one. This first one. Yes, I've already made three calls. Okay. Fantastic. So it seems as if you don't have any problem, okay? But we need to continue searching for extra info, okay, people? You did it, you got a 10 over here. Any question about it? No. Not really. Uh, I don't, uh, in my case, um, um, no me quedo claro already and yet the use it because. Uh... Okay, good. That's really good. Okay, I will go over it again. And we will see the info. Okay, Francisco, don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. I, I, I will try to do it better this time. Have not. Actions which. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, this part. Okay, you know the meaning of the word already, right? How do you say already in Spanish, Francisco? I don't know. Ah, okay, so maybe that's the problem. Can somebody chat, can somebody uh, provide the meaning of the word they're ready in the chat? So that Francisco can, can see, Jonathan shared, shared it. What's the meaning, Francisco? Ja. Exactly. Okay, so already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. Now we have the present perfect over here. We have the ready had of breakfast. So we, by, by having the meaning of the word in Spanish, you got the message, right? So what, how, or how do you read this sentence, but in Spanish? Read the sentence in Spanish, please, Francisco. Nosotros uh, tenemos ya mm, hecho nuestro desayuno. Okay. Can somebody, can somebody help Francisco? Nosotros ya tomamos nuestro desayuno. Perfect. Now, Francisco, as you can see, the only thing that, that you needed that you need to take or to take into consideration consideration is the, um, the 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 I mean the structure. You need to be aware about the place you should write down the word already. Now you know already means ya, yeah, but with with the ready had their breakfast. Okay, so ya hemos tomado nuestro desayuno. Ya. Yeah. Okay. The already uh, and yet is the same. No, it's the opposite because yet is todavía. Already is ya. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, that's different, Francisco. On the other hand, let's go over that part. Okay, now, as you can see right here, has the poster right yet? Todavía no ha llegado el, el correo? Todavía. Y si ustedes se fijan, En, en, estas, en estas oraciones vamos a, vamos a empezar a leer desde acá, ¿verdad? O sea, es, es, son algunas de las cosas que tiene inglés, ¿verdad? Que no se leen desde acá, o sea, al, al momento de interpretar, ¿verdad? Porque en inglés sí, has the post the right yet. Ya alguien que se dedica a interpretar, entonces tiene que empezar a leer desde acá. Todavía no ha llegado el correo. Oh, wow. okay, o sea, se, se lee al revés, digamos. And that's, I think that's everything about ready and jet, Francisco. But if you still have some doubts, um, I will try to get a video, okay? In YouTube so that you can see the info there. Okay, thank you, yes. If there's any other question or comment or something they wanna share in the group, we're gonna stop on here and we will meet tomorrow. Okay, thank you, uh, good night. Thank you. Good night, people. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Good night.